So they said, he had asked me, and I said, I wasn't sure, you see. I, I was caught up within that of which is, and it seemed as if I awakened from a dream. Not so much a dream I stumbled upon or came upon, one that was placed, built, concocted, if you would say, and has been here for a very long time and is still here today. It's this ism to this day I've met not one and still I wonder from whence it comes having to be having to be a darkened place space from whence it came for one to be raped <clears throat> of his heroes, his beliefs, his name. To have to be caught up within that of which is told to believe what you're taught to believe and now it becomes your business. Parents transferring over information to their offspring. Sad part is they're not aware of the very thing. If my parents are ignorant and their parents were too, what could I expect to be? Unless of course I wear the glasses. The glasses are available. It's right in front of you. It's almost as if I said, I don't see color. Mm. And you said to me, but how can that be? And then I would respond with some corny story or like, well, it's just not the way it is. But then again, that's not what I see. You can't see color, then you can't see the ism. If you don't see the differences, you'll get caught up in thinking it's different. There's a difference between differences and different. Different is permanent. Differences could change. Okay. More like, I would say, as, as if, as if, as if to breathe, not needing to be black or white, a mindset, a game played, sort of like a plight. Why? For what? Where? Where does it lead us? We're so much more than that which is. And ooh, oh no. Let's let us not discuss trust. Eagles, fears, beliefs. What could we do? These are aspects of a human being that will dictate to me and you. The only thing we have in common, <clears throat> get ready for this and take a good look, is when we become religious and trapped in that occult, and then we all become related by way of a book. They will sell you Jesus. Reason being, shut. He's a good, incredible partner <laughs> who doesn't take a cut. You'll never see him, but you'll hear his name. You'll always see them using him to claim their stake. Just that simple.
listen, feel my spirit spill out, simply sharing and having fun. There are a million things I could be doing out there, out there, from whence I just come. The only thing out there is out there. And if you have no reason other than making ends meet, being out there is the last place you want to be. So take a seat. <laughs> uh, strap on your seatbelt. Get your Bible and strap on your seatbelt. Because the joy at home, just as well as out there, can be felt. Remember that.